my Phillips screwdriver double zero size but I'm going to use my drill a lot of screws in the back so this one says I'm tired ideally I don't want to use the drill it's quite painful for your wrist if you do it like especially in my situations that I fix a lot of work on the other so I only use it if I have like say 20 screws need to be shut and all done all need to be done at the same time so this way it's quite the best and and the, the screw bit is magnetized so you don't have to fish for it every time I unscrew it so that's out of the way remove the, the RAM cover this is your RAM if you want to upgrade because they come with one slot of A 16 gig and this is your hard drive also this one's got a internal SSD as well which we're going to dig into shortly so what you need to do is it's a bit tricky but uh, just get a bit of an edge so you can uh, um, open the back cover so use like a guitar pick or any other kind of plank tool you're not going to damage it so yeah be pretty confident when you, when you try to attempt to open it okay Not that you need to, but just to be safe. Okay, so this is going to be the tricky part. Not the front, the back side is a bit tricky, but it doesn't matter, you can do it. Do the other side. Yes, here's that. <clears throat> okay, so that's off. Okay, so we have NG5 SSD. So if you're into your place that, and we have memory, and then we have fan. So what we're going to do is uh, somewhere I'm going to use my drill. So that's out. Two screws for the fan to each. Okay. <clears throat> Remove this the fan uh, the fan uh, connector by just making this kind of shape with your thumb or get a prime tool screwdriver and just pull it out that's first fan out and then uh, the second out so that's out simply lift it off okay so that's your fan and we're going to clean up the fan heat sink okay. it's pretty fresh so um, it's not going too bad so okay so that's out You have 14 gig to DR4 and then 
we have our NGFF SATA SSD. So yeah, so there you have it. Your fan, your SSD, your memory, and your hard drive. So all, yeah. So yeah, you can. Uh, RAM and hard drive is easy to upgrade or replace because they're easy access. But this uh, this SSD, uh, this one, and cleaning the fans, replacing the fans, or uh, cleaning, I mean, uh, replacing the terminal paste would be a bit of a mission. So, yep. Okay. So now let's apply the terminal paste. much okay. the image is spread out so it's evenly across CPU and GPU all right so let's put back the Run. I'm not going to uh, reply, uh, upgrade the, the, uh, the memory, but if you want these empty, empty slot, you can do that. And this one comes with 256. A lot of time, that's this sort of slot is actually empty. So if you just got a hard drive or just one drive in general on this model, then you can be pretty sure that these three slots for SSD you can add on. Uh, instead of placing your camera hard drive, you can use that as a backup and then you can add it on as well. So, fan seems to be clean, it's pretty clean. Yeah, but if you want to replace or clean, cleaning is easy. Replace just, it's hold by strap, just pull it out and yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to replace the fan at the moment. <clears throat> uh, putting it back together is the same way as uh, the same way that we um, we use to uh, open this laptop. Um, it's pretty much a mirror of what what we did in order to get here. 